to somebody and they're like, wow, that's awesome. And you know, the, the snowball started, you know, and it has continued to roll. So if you can talk me, uh, kind of talk me through the process there, uh, of, uh, how you, how you kind of created that. The, the prototype or. Well, the, the, the you, that you went through just in general. <clears throat> I didn't, I didn't hear the first part of that. Uh, kind of, are you able to uh, talk me through the process of how you, how you came up with the idea? Yeah, I just, I, I was looking for a way to keep my phone off the floor when I was in an airport, you know, something that was convenient. I could put in my pocket, hence the name pocket shelf. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, when I went out and into my garage and I, I made it, it's actually, I got it on the wall. It's that first one, right? Mm-hmm. Where is it? Right there. That's the first one I made. Um, and it's an outlet cover. It's just an outlet cover. I use some plexiglass and I put it next to my recliner because I wasn't going to be traveling for a while. So my recliner was next to a wall and there was a walking space and then my couch was over here. So there was no place to put a drink. You know, I had a leather recliner with big round arms. Um, my drink was always on the floor, the, my phone, whatever. So I took that, I stuck it next to my recliner. I use that thing all the time. And, you know, I showed Chris and he thought it was pretty cool, you know, show him how it folded up. And, and, uh, that was, that, that, that was it. That, that was the start. You know, he, uh, we sat and neck and sketched a little bit and, and, you know, he put me in contact with some pretty key people. Um, I've, I've learned a lot. That's, that's for sure. So is there a particular profession that you have thought about uh, doing other than the direction you've headed or? Well, I've got, I've got a, I've got a couple other things in mind on the same line with this. Um, But Mm -hmm. I'm not really going to talk about that right now. So, um, and, and that's all kind of up in the air too. Um, yeah, you know, trying to figure out, I'm trying to get a team together right now, um, to move this thing forward. And that's like we talked about earlier. That's, that's not easy. Right. You know, you'll, you'll never find people with the same passion that you have. Yeah. Um, I was talking to, uh, another another guy uh, last week and he said that you should never try to find someone with that passion for your product you got to find the people with a passion in their area you know so if it's web design you know find somebody who's just crazy about doing web design you know and yep you know and and that kind of thing that's true <clears throat> So what would you, uh, what would you say your greatest character strength would be? Uh, <laughs> boy, you put me on the spot with that one. Greatest character strength. Um, I, I would have to say, uh, tenacity. I don't know if that's good or bad, but you know, in this, you have to, you have to have it, you know, you, you're going to get kicked in the, in the knees so many times and, you know, you're going to fall flat on your face and if you can't keep getting up and and keep Mm -hmm. moving forward, you know, if you don't, if you don't have it in you, um, you know, to, as soon as you get up out of bed to wake up, turn on your computer, go out and start your coffee and, you know, get right to getting, you know, and, yeah. you know, and, and that's what you do all day, you know, um, and then, you know, you, you wait till you get kicked down again, you get up, brush yourself off, learn your lesson and keep going. Very true. Now, what, uh, on the flip side of that, what would you say your greatest weakness would be? Lately, it's been motivation. Um, you know, I still, the tenacity is still there. Uh, 
the the motivation has been has been running low but uh you know keeping keeping that motivation up can can be a challenge sometimes you know and when when you when you just go and go and go and you know for a year year and a half two years and there's really no progress you know i mean there is progress but you know you have to be able to it's nice to see progress that other people can see you know so right. uh yeah yeah probably staying motivated all the time yeah that's a tough one <clears throat> Uh, do you have a particular place that you uh, do your idea getting uh, maybe out in nature or particular spot that you brainstorm? No, I, you know, I've always been like a, a solution person. You know, if there's a problem, I, I like to try to find a way to, to solve the problem, you know, uh, whether right. it's, modifying a product or or making something new or so it's really it's really wherever it's it's wherever the, the light bulb comes on you know that, that could be anywhere okay <clears throat> so if you're to to describe uh, at a very high level uh what what the process is behind what you're doing with your business how would you describe that what what the process is as far as making a product right um you know, for somebody that, that maybe wants to to follow in your footsteps well there's there's a whole lot to to making a physical product that if you don't know about you, you don't know about you know your your product has to be makeable you know uh if you have a plastic widget it has to be moldable you know and you have to know what kind of molding you need you know is it is it blow molding is it is it injection molding there there's layover uh, there's all kinds of stuff so <clears throat> you know learning all that um you you, you really gotta you, you really gotta kind of learn sort of everybody's process to make your own um you know when when you have an idea you should protect it in some fashion um the the patent and trademark laws have, have changed um you know you, you got to use ndas uh the the process really is it's it's really kind of simple but it's it's also kind of tricky to to walk through you know um there's a lot of information out there so you have your idea you make your napkin sketch you know you and all this stuff has to happen pretty quick you know you got to find somebody who can who can make it moldable you know um and get your idea protected somewhat you know um and then of course you have to fund it you know you have to find somebody to, to make the tooling and to, to make the actual pieces and um you know and then how do you market it you know marketing is a whole different thing you know whether it's your packaging to getting videos or pictures or, or whatever i mean every little thing counts you know it could be the simplest little shade change in color you know mm -hmm. so you you really have to kind of know i guess know what you don't know and, and find people to answer the questions and set that process up so you're not skipping ahead and you're not really missing anything um in the book i i go through i, I kind of lay the process out you know start to finish yeah, you mentioned a, a book. Uh, can you tell me a little bit, a little bit about your book? Oh, well, it's uh, it's cat. It's called Napkin Sketch to Retail: How to Get That Idea Out of Your Head and Onto the Shelf. And it, it's really just 
my journey. And it, like I said, there's so much information out there. The problem is if you don't know where to look, it, it, it can take a long time to find. So the ebook is, is full of resources, you know, just click and it takes you right to what you're looking for. Um, and it, and it talks a lot about patents and, and how to protect your stuff and, uh, licensing, you know, licensing is a, is a great, is a, is a great thing to do if, if you know what you're doing and you don't have to be a rocket scientist to, to figure it out. You know, you just have to have an idea, you know? So, uh, how would people be able to, uh, get a hold of you and, you know, maybe get a hold of the book and contact you personally? Um, <clears throat> the book's coming out in a few weeks. Um, my website is www.thepocketshelf.com. Uh, my email is info at the pocket shelf. Uh, my name's Ron and that's probably email. You can email right through the website, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, all that, all of the social sites. It's all the pocket shelf. Okay. Thank you, Ron. Well, I appreciate you coming on to the program today and you know spending some time and letting us know about what you're creating that's going to make a difference in the world. And you know, as I enjoy saying to each, each of my guests, I'll see you around the bend, my friend. That's awesome. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. You've been listening to Legacy Cast. Thank you for joining us today, and be sure to come back next time as we speak with more top influencers, industry experts, and business owners from around the world.